take a look. This is really actually quite interesting. If you're heading out right now, the southeastern half of the area, which had plenty of sunshine this morning and didn't get, most of us didn't get any rain. Look at this. Temps are well into the 80s. This is from Port Huron all the way down to Adrian. Then you get northwest of that uh, where there was more clouds and showers. And you can see temps are in the 70s to near 80 degrees. Now you factor in the humidity. Look at this. Right now at the noon hour, Monroe has a heat index of 96 degrees. It feels like 92 in Adrian, 95 in Gros Seal. Mount Clemens, it feels like 90. And then again, you get to the northwest. Yeah, it's muggy and steamy, but the heat index isn't registering because you have a cooler temperature. So let's get to radar again. Everybody is concerned about the thunderstorms. We have just a few scattered showers in the area right now. Nothing that's of any concern. And even as you look at this, these are not severe storms, but what's going to happen? They're going to move eastward across the state and remember that that area of warmer temperatures. I think that's the area that will be probably favored for severe storms because the air is going to be that much more unstable. So let's just step you through the afternoon and I want to, as I said at the top of the show, I want to explain something. So here's that line here starting to intensify as it gets into the increasingly unstable air. But notice these little little popcorn little thunderstorms here. If these develop, they're developing out ahead of this main batch and out ahead of the main batch it's a more favorable wind environment. There's more wind shear as you go up. So some of these storms could rotate. And now understand that doesn't mean that there's going to be a tornado, but a rotating severe storm has a better chance for hail and the, the low chance for a tornado in this type of situation. So the, the chances aren't zero, but we do have to keep an eye on it. So that again, once this big batch comes in, it's mainly just a 60 mile per hour wind gust threat that moves through and then watch what happens this evening. Another batch develops to the west. That's coming in. We're at nine o'clock now and that moves through, especially south of eight mile, though you can't rule out a storm further north that rolls through about 11 o'clock. So the rest of the night, just some scattered showers, storm impacts, lightning guaranteed. Again, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, the primary threat, smaller chance for hail, flooding and tornadoes are a low threat at this point. So 90 the high, especially in those areas to the south and east, of course, be cooler to the northwest and it is humid out there. And then tomorrow for Election Day, well, some scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm south of eight mile, but not a washout of a day and temperatures. Yeah, kind of average summer temperatures the rest of the week. But the important thing is that the humidity is going to drop way, way back, guys.